Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to use import data using Salesforce data import wizard through the trailhead example. So since I'm studying to become a certified data uh, architect and management designer in Salesforce, I will dedicate myself to create a simple video. So before we dive in Salesforce, the Salesforce offer a two methods of importing data. The number one is the data import wizard, which is the data import wizard you can find here in the setup and then go to the uh, home which is the quick find and then you can enter the data import wizard to find it and then you're gonna click it and then it will arrive you to how to call it step by step on how you can import the data so the data import wizard that's the number one this is a, a maximum of 50k records meaning you can import the data around until 50k that you can use and then this is only for a standard object and of course the custom object but the standard object is composed of the contacts leads accounts on which I'm gonna show you later on how we can do the import of the data using CSV file that requiring to import the data okay using the import uh, data wizard and then the second one of the method which is the data loader so which is uh, we will not gonna focus on that one and then I will not show you the data loader but here is how the data loader it itself so the data loader this is a client application or external applications that you can import up to 5 million records to the Salesforce and then at the same time uh, you can do any data types either the files or database connections you can do that also it can be using a in user interface and then you can do a command line also of course you need to have a more knowledgeable on how you can do this so you will not mess up the data and then uh, this is like a importing the data in MySQL if you know how to use the MySQL workbench or other tools on how you can access your database like MySQL so and then uh, you can use also the API calls using the data loader and then uh, the data loader is uh, until uh, 5 million so for instance you have a uh, 50,100 records so you need to think uh, that you need to use the data loader instead of the data import wizard okay so let's dig in on how we can do the data import wizard using the example in trailhead okay let's go to the uh, trailhead so we can find any example in here of the importing the data using the data import wizard first here the challenge is to import the contacts data using csv so take note that contact data and then we're gonna use the CSV because the commonly used in the uh, how to call it importing the data and mostly uh, using in MySQL is the CSV file okay instead of the XLS of the spreadsheet or the Excel sheet here we're gonna download the CSV file we file using the right click save as and then I'm gonna save here in my download so it's just a temporary for me and then now it's on the CSV file I'm gonna open the file show finder I'm gonna open a spreadsheet and then I'm gonna put in here okay if you're gonna look in here we have a different kind of columns you have F name L name and the standard object it is not the how do you call it the name in our fields so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do the mapping in the data import wizard but be first before we do that I'm gonna show you some example that you can use in the future the other how do you call it techniques on how you can do the for can do the formula like so here uh, if you want if you if you have a field like in a, in a, uh, in the part of the object like the contacts you want to for instance you're gonna do the full name so in here when you're importing the data you have a two columns which is of course if you have only full name it will not gonna import the data because it's not combined together and then if you're gonna map only the F name so you can uh, import only the first name so what you're gonna do is to create a concatenation that you can combine together as a full name so in here in our example I'm gonna create the insert click the insert and then I'm gonna put for instance the combined name combined name okay or let's put a combined first name and last name okay so now we're gonna combine together the first name and the last name so this is just an example that we will not gonna use in importing the data in our example in trailhead okay 
so just to give you more knowledge okay so here I'm gonna click the row and then I'm gonna click the FX and uh, which is the formula builder and then I'm gonna click the concatenate uh, which is in here and then insert the functions so but now we need to specify which uh, how do you call it columns or the rows that we need to specify so here I'm gonna click the and then I'm gonna click the John okay and then since if I'm gonna do at the same time in here like for instance I'm gonna do the comma and then I'm just gonna click the last name you will notice here there's no space so what we're gonna do here is to go in here or you can do in here I believe and then create a double quotation and then click comma and then you have a space now let's do this space here okay then now you have the space so it's easily to, to understand this is the first name this is the uh, last name which is the full name okay and then here you can find uh, on how you can uh, create uh, again in the next row so what you're gonna do he here is to find the arrow in here and then once the uh, how do you call it the plus sign uh, show it you can click the, your mouse and then drag down and then yeah everything is now in the first name and last name which is you use the concatenate okay so now uh, we're gonna move on how we can import the data but first thing first this is just an example and idea and techniques that you can use in the future if you want to combine together okay and then I'm gonna delete now and then uh, I'm just gonna put save maybe because maybe I'm gonna forget it again so I'm gonna minimize it and then I'm gonna go to the data import wizard and launch wizard so here I'm gonna use the standard object as accounts and contacts so here the um, the challenge is use the name for matching the contact records let's do that let's add dating existing records because I believe I already have in my account in here and then I'm gonna just click the name because that's matching it says in here okay contact records so I'm gonna click here the CSV which is the next step and then you can also drag the uh, the CSV file but I recommend so it's easily for you easily to understand itself you can uh, click the choose file and then find your uh, contact import and then open and then it will import now in the browser and then I'm gonna click next and then now this is what I'm saying if you have a field which is the first name and your CSV or spreadsheet is your the column is F name and last name so you need to mock or the field so it's gonna be uh, the same so what we're gonna do is gonna click the map and then since here if you're gonna read here map all the fields in the CSV file to the appropriate contact fields so meaning we're gonna find the contact fields so to make it the same okay I'm gonna type here contact and then first name of course this is the first name F name and then click map then it's now first name so the CSB header again is F name and then in the object which is we have a field of the first name of the contact object okay and then I'm gonna click again here in the F uh, on the map which is the L name I'm gonna click contact L name where is it okay this one and then click map again and then the last is the cell says here if I could remember you need to change map cell to mobile okay so since we don't have I believe here the the how do you call it the mobile it is uh, sorry we don't have cell here so it's mobile okay so I'm gonna click the map so now it's every clear in here there's no unmap so it's already map on the existing uh, how do you call it columns or field in our uh, Salesforce so now it's aligned in the first name uh, the last name the cell which is the mobile and the email salutations and the title and then I'm gonna click next 
and then I'm gonna start import data okay so again you will see here the map fields which is 6 okay so I'm gonna click the start import and then click OK so you will find here it's complete so it's faster but sometimes of course if it's big you need to use the how to call it, bulk uh, upload and now I'm gonna check the trailhead to check the challenge if we pass again and if our uploading is correct okay I'm gonna click the challenge to earn 500 points okay that's all for today and thank you for watching and see you in my next uh, video